Hello guys, in this video I'll be talking about UV visible spectroscopy and the most common problem that I see many people has that how to predict which transition will be uh, available in which functional group. For example, there are wide range of organic functional groups and it's hard to figure out what kind of electronic transitions they can have basically. So in exam, particularly in, in entry tests or somewhere you can be asked that if you are given any compound, any structure and you are asked predict which kind of electronic transitions are possible. So I have made a table which you can easily follow and quickly tell that which kind of transition is available in which functional group. Okay, let's start. So sigma to sigma star transition. So these are electronic transitions. I have already made videos about electronic transitions in my spectroscopy playlist on my YouTube channel. If you haven't watched basic videos about UV visible spectroscopy, please watch so in order to get the basic knowledge. But if you are already familiar with the UV visible spectroscopy and you just want to learn what kind of transitions are available in which functional groups. So here is a video for you and you can quickly predict which transition will be uh, available in which functional groups. So alkanes, any alkanes, cyclic alkane, aliphatic alkane, I mean, you look at the structure and you figure it out, this is a sp3 carbon and does not contain any heteroatom, it's a CH bond, go for it. It's going to be sigma to sigma star transitions. So carbonyl compounds, now it categorizes every single carbonyl compounds, it could be aldehyde, Aldehyde is a carbonyl compound, ketone is a carbonyl compound, carboxylic acid is a carbonyl compound, and derivatives of carboxylic acids are also carbonyl compounds like ester is a carbonyl compound, amide is a carbonyl compound, acid chloride is a carbonyl compound, anhydride is a carbonyl compound. So all of these functional groups which I named, they all possess carbonyl compounds, carbonyl functionality. So Carbonyl functionality is simple carbon double bond oxygen. So that's what we call carbonyl compounds, this one. And alkanes is simply CH. So the carbon having a single bond with hydrogen that should have a sp3 hybridization. The carbon should have a sp3 hybridization. So the transition between C and H in any molecule that contains sp3 hybridization and looks like alkane is going to have a sigma to sigma star transition. The carbonyl compounds is going to have a sigma to pi star transitions, but that's not dominant transition in carbonyl compounds. But the most dominant or most predominant transition that is present in carbonyl compounds is n to pi star transition. So what this sigma, what this n and what this star shows, you already know it's a ground level and it's an excited state level. So sigma is a ground level, sigma star is excited level. So sigma again is a ground level and pi star is excited level. So sigma electrons are present in single bonds and pi electrons are present in double bonds, easy. So when sigma electrons of single bond are excited to go into sigma star, when the pi electrons of the pi double bonds are excited, they go into pi star. And next is n is equals to lone pair of electrons. So like so many heteroatoms like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, they all possess lone pair of electrons, number of lone pair of electrons. That's why we call them n. So this is a very good information for you if you don't understand what is sigma, what is sigma star, what is pi star, what is n. So it's simple, n is number of lone pair of electrons. Like for example, in this case, hydrogen does not contain any lone pair of electrons. You know, the hydrogen has one electron and it has shared one electron with carbon and it cannot make any further bond or it does not have any further electrons. So there's absolutely no possibility of n transition so it cannot be n to sigma star or n to pi star or you know it either can be sigma to sigma star or pi to pi star because these two transitions sigma to sigma star and pi to pi star they do not involve any sort of lone pair from the any compound or any atom okay 
so in this alkane there is no lone pair of electrons so either it could be pi to pi star and either it could be sigma to sigma star so why we are saying it's sigma to sigma star in alkanes because as you know that sigma bond is present in alkanes so when it's sigma electrons are excited they go into sigma star so there is no chance of pi to pi star transition in alkanes i think i have explained enough now okay now next go back to carbonyl compounds and so the carbonyl compounds have sigma to pi star transition because it contains sig sigma bond and pi bond as well okay so sigma bond and pi bond that's why it can have sigma to pi star transition but that's not frequently observed in uv visible and that's not important as well the most important one electronic transitions are two pi to pi star and n to pi star so we'll focus on pi to pi star which is commonly found in alkenes again it's commonly found in carbonyl compounds and alkynes so what are alkenes if you are very very at basic level these are carbon double bond carbon alkenes and carbon double bond oxygen is carbonyl compounds and carbon triple bond carbon is alkynes okay now if you see any of these functional groups in your compound in your structure and if you are asked which transition is possible in alkenes alkynes or carbonyl compounds you straight away say it's pi to pi star why because they all contain pi bond because they contain double bond and as you know the double bond is composed of one sigma and one pi bond so when the pi bond is excited it goes to pi star that's why alkenes have pi to pi star transition and carbonyl compounds also possess pi bond between carbon and oxygen they also show pi to pi star transition and alkynes do possess two pi bonds but it's enough to have one double bond and it can undergo pi to pi star transition so the take home lesson of this uh, point is that if you have a double bond it doesn't matter it's hetero atom like between same atoms like carbon carbon this is the same atom homo homoatomic or heteroatomic like carbon double bond oxygen as long as you have a double bond that is undergoing to be a pi to pi transition period it's straight that's it okay now another important transition is n to sigma star that can be found in particularly heteroatoms as n is indicating that there should be there must be a lone pair of electrons present in on any heteroatom that is involved in that case so if you see there is oxygen like alcohols they do undergo n to sigma star transition why because oxygen as you know possess number of free lone pair of electrons so that is why we are calling this transition n to sigma star and why sigma star because it's there is no double bond and similarly goes to nitrogen so m means can undergo n to sigma star transition because nitrogen again possesses number of lone pair of electrons that's why we can easily predict that nitrogen containing compounds can easily undergo n to sigma star um, transitions oxygen containing functional groups can easily undergo n to sigma star and there are so many oxygen containing functional groups such as phenols alcohols primary secondary tertiary and then carbon compounds then all of the other functional groups so sulfur is sh thiols you can say thiols can undergo n to sigma star transition as you know that sulfur also belongs to oxygen family or oxygen group and it also possesses the number of lone pair of electrons hence it can undergo n to sigma star transition next is halogen compounds it could be fluorine chlorine bromine iodine any of these atoms are attached to carbon like alkyl halides and halogens are very familiar because they possess number of lone pair of electrons like three or, or total seven unpaired electrons in their out, outermost shell and they can easily undergo n to sigma star transition so this is a breakdown this is a conceptual breakdown that how you can quickly identify which transition is occurring in which functional group so if you are given number of different uh, structures and you are asked that which transition is going to be found in which type of a region of compound or which functional group so you can follow this table use your mind and 
very easily you can predict uh, again i'm repeating sigma to sigma star is can only be found in single bonds pi to pi star is con can only be found in double bonds and n to sigma star and n to pi star transition is found when you have a lone pair of electrons on any atom okay again this is a very important transition n to pi star transition that is commonly found in carbonyl compounds why because there is a double bond between carbon and oxygen and oxygen being a hetero atom here or oxygen being an atom which possesses number of lone pair of electrons that can undergo transition from n to pi star if you don't know how these transitions occur i have previously made video about electronic transitions in your visible spectroscopy please watch that video in order to gain basic knowledge but if you don't want to go back and if you want to gain concept here right in this video it's completely fine you can easily see that oxygen having lone pair of electron being involved in a pi bond formation with carbon can easily undergo n to pi star transition so this is how you can easily predict which transition is occurring in which functional groups now let's try to use this concept into a functional groups all right here is a benzene which uh, my question from you guys is which transition is possible in benzene you can easily say it's pi to pi star y because there is double bond da 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 and how about this if you have cyclohexane which transition is possible in this cyclohexane you can easily say it's alkane it's going to be sigma to sigma star okay how about if you are asked which transition is possible in aldehyde or if i put aldehyde here so now you do not have just aldehyde in this functional group you have number of other things as well so now this is aldehyde and there are two things that is that can be noted in this compa uh, compound uh, basically uh, because uh, this is aldehyde which i am encircling and this is cyclohexene hexane now you can easily see that there are two type of transitions or three type of transitions possible one it is carbonyl compound n to pi star another is it's again pi to pi star and for cyclohexane it's going to be sigma to sigma star so you can pinpoint with accuracy you can figure it out what will be the transition between this carbon and this oxygen so it's a carbonyl compound carbonyl compounds mainly undergo pi to pi star transition and n to pi star transition and alkanes only undergo sigma to sigma star now this concept is applicable to ketones aldehydes esters acid halides carbonyl compounds including amides and hydrides and next next question is what kind of transition will be this compound having now we have a double bond okay so this is going to be a pi to pi star for this double bond n to pi star for this carbonyl compound and pi to pi star for this carbon compound and we have a single bond here this is going to be a sigma to sigma star so this is how you can tell what kind of transitions are possible now we have a triple bond okay triple bond also undergoes pi to pi star double bond also undergoes pi to pi star and carbonyl compounds undergo n to pi star and pi to pi star and there is a alkane type functionality ch2 that will undergo sigma to sigma star so these are the types of transitions which can be found in this compound okay how about if i put hetero atom here da -da -da. now we have a nitrogen here and it can undergo n to sigma star transition nitrogen and double bond pi to pi star triple bond pi to pi star carbonyl compound n to pi star and pi to pi star and this ch is alkane type and it can undergo sigma to sigma star so it's very easy to predict which uh, transition is possible in which kind of a compound so if you are given a very complex compound having so many different functional groups for example if it contains benzene it contains for example phenol okay and now i'm going to put every single main functional groups it's going to contain I mean like this this is NH2 so NH2 
and it's going to have ethers so this is ether and it's going to have let's put it aldehyde there on this compound let's put aldehyde okay let's put alkene there okay now let's go on and make things more it more from this is going to be a ketone i'll put oxygen there and this one is going to be uh okay this is going to be a carboxylic acid maybe yeah uh, why not so this is ketone and this is carboxylic acid okay and what else main functional group is there okay let's pull it out from this position and make it an aldehyde here all right so aldehyde and ketone differ by hydrogen so we have to put a hydrogen here and this is oxygen okay now you can see there are a lot of functional group present including alcohol like phenol or amines and now if you are asked what kind of electronic transitions are possible in this compound pinpointly provide each atom figure it out so oh can undergo n to sigma star why because oxygen has lone pair of electrons amines can undergo n to sigma star why because nitrogen has lone pair of electrons ethers can undergo n to uh, sigma star transition because oxygen has lone pair of electrons easy okay aldehydes can undergo n to pi star why because oxygen has lone pair of electron and it's involved in pi bond that's why it can undergo n to pi star and as there is a pi bond so it definitely can undergo pi to pi star similar to aldehyde it can undergo ketone can undergo n to sigma star n to n to pi star pardon because oxygen has lone pair of electron and it's involved in pi bond formation and there's a pi bond that's why it can undergo pi to pi star transition same goes for carboxylic acids they can undergo sigma to sigma uh, uh, sorry n to sigma star between oh and between carbonyl it could be n to pi star and pi to pi star and here is an alkane ch2 sp3 hybridized it can undergo a sigma to sigma star and we have a benzene which can undergo pi to pi star and we have an alkene which can undergo pi to pi star and if you want to put alkyne sure you can put it and alkynes also undergo pi to pi star transition so i hope it's clear like crystal for you now that which transition is possible in which functional group but even after this video it's unclear to you drop your comments below in this video i'll try to answer your questions or if it's still unclear to you i will make another video that's it thanks for watching bye